Problem 11. What is the product of all real numbers x such as the distance on the number line between log base 6 of x and log base 6 of 9 is twice the distance on the number line between log base 6 of 10 and log and 1? So first of all, if you on the test, it's completely normal to have your, your nerves kind of get in your way and forget like some information that's kind of simple, such as finding the distance between two points on the number line. So to do this, if you forget, just give yourself a simple test case. Never be afraid to give a simple test case to find what's the pattern. What's the distance between 1 and 3, for example? Well, it's 1, 2. So what is 2 equal to? Well, that's 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. It's equal to the endpoints minus together. So with this understanding, we can apply it to logarithms as well, because it must follow the same pattern for this to be true. Let's say this is 0. I don't know where log base 6 of 10 is. It would be roughly 1 point something. So I would say, let's say log base 6 of 10 is right here. Then let's say 1 is right here. That means the distance right here will be 1 minus log base 6 of 10. Now, Likewise, we don't have to draw it out for log base 6 of 9 and log base 6 of x. That would just be log base 6 of 9 minus log base 6 of x. Now, you might be wondering, hey, how did I know to do this instead of do log base 6 of x, right, minus log base 6 of 9? Well, actually, I need to do this. There's the, these are the two cases I need to understand. And the graphical interpretation of this is that I can have a negative distance or a positive distance from that point. And therefore, we consider all possible x's. So we must consider all possible distances away from log base 6 of x by changing the order that we subtract each term from. Now, with this understanding, this must be twice the distance of 1 minus log base 6 of 10. The same thing goes for the second one. And you can see where this goes, right? We just simplify everything and then solve for x and we're done. Now, with this understanding, let's solve for case 1. Now, there's a special log rule that says that the log of a divided by b is equal to log of a minus log of b. Now, if I were to have this definition in mind, then how do I simplify the first um, equation? Well, that's just log base 6 of 9 over x. And that term must be equal to 2 times 1 minus log base 6 of 10. But that's the same thing as 2 times log base 6 of 6 minus log base 6 of 10. So what is that simplified to? Well, that's equal to 2 times log base 6 of 6 over 10. Now, if we were to have a, um, a constant in front of a log, we can put that into the power to get log base 6 of 6 over 10 squared, right? And that would be the same thing as this term right here. Now, therefore, we have simplified everything into its simple form. So the right-hand side is just log base 6 of 9 over x. Now, since both log bases are the same, their arguments must also be the same. In this case, that would entail 9 over x being equal to 36 over 100. And if that's the case, then that means x must be equal to 100 over 36 times 9. And therefore, that would simplify into 4. That would simplify into ultimately 25. So the first one, x is 25, has been solved. Now, what about the case 2? Case 2, right? Well, the right-hand side of log base 6 of 6 over 10 squared is still the same. It's just that this time it's x over 9 instead of 9 over x. So x over 9, right, now goes here. Therefore, x will be equal to 36 over 100 times 9, which is unfactorable. So we can just say that's equal to 100, and that's um, 5, uh, 4, 9. Right? Uh, no, no, no. That is terrible math. Uh, 32. Right? And then we multiply this with 25 because we're trying to find the product of all possible numbers. And that would simplify into 4. And then dividing this out would give 81. So that would bring you to a final choice of E.